Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Investing with the Difference. So today again we are going to look at uh, what's happening in EOS world. Uh, and again, thanks a lot uh, for all the subscribers and please uh, subscribe if you like our videos and do like them uh, by pressing the like thumbs up uh, sign. So now let's go up and uh, look at what's going on. So first of all, let's review what happened in the uh, block producer meeting. So uh, not many people are following it anymore. So if you look at it, this is the US Detroit. Here they have been streaming this live. Uh, even though the EMLG grew, uh, YouTube did not uh, um, stream at this time. I don't know why that is the case. It's very difficult to track uh, these block producer calls, but they're definitely available. So the key thing which happened is uh, Dan Larimer explained the changes around RAM. We have already covered it uh, yesterday when we posted the videos about uh, the RAM solution, about how the RAM is going to increase. Um, and uh, this was debated, uh, but I don't think block producers are yet ready. So this is something which uh, we all are aware of uh, in terms of how the RAM is being defined. The key changes, which are uh, the usernames and uh, how the cost for account creation, which is going to reduce, uh, that was uh, defined by um, Dan Larimer in this call. But I think uh, overall the RAM prices have stabilized. If you see in last uh, couple of days, it is going very much uh, in a very small range. And now we are seeing that they are stabilizing around 0.35 or 0.3 EOS per kilobyte. So what we are saying is, and now with the new changes, the requirements for RAM will be like 1.5 kilobyte per year, per user account. And that would mean that you would only need to pay around 0.5 EOS, which is a pretty low price. Like even if you talk about new account creation, uh, you can create these accounts for at the current EOS price around uh, uh, $3 or so, which is not very expensive for a network, which will run uh, free of cost for the rest of your life once you create an account. And most of us who held EOS in uh, on the Genesis snapshot, we already have our accounts. So now the next, uh, let's move on. I think uh, there are a couple of other things which were discussed in this call. I will come to that later, but let's look at the bigger news, which is the Everypedia has been distributed. Uh, not only everybody who held their own tokens on the Genesis snapshot, but also Bitfinex, which is one of the biggest exchanges. Uh, they distributed the Everypedia airdrop. And more importantly, they listed Everypedia immediately. And this is the first EOS-based token trading on one of the biggest exchanges um, on crypto world. So this, uh, this is a huge news. I think this is not just important from Everypedia um, airdrop perspective uh, because this was one of the biggest airdrop but also it is important from the perspective that uh, there is a EOS based token now listed on exchanges and let's look at how it is doing uh, so this is IQ and let me quickly search where it is yeah this is where we are IQ USD it is quoting at four cents so remember that we all got 5.1 is to one that means we got 5.1 IQ for every EOS held that means if you multiply this 0 0.04 cent, uh, 0.04 dollars to by five, let's say, you're talking about 20, 20, 21 cent. At a current $7 price of EOS, this is 3% bonus, and which is one airdrop is providing you. Of course, this is one of the better funded company, and it justifies uh, what, it is, uh, rep what it represents. And uh, I think what you need to look at is the volume. And... Uh, I'm pretty happy to see that uh, it is already seeing a trading volume of $375,000, um, which is huge for a small token, which is just listed. So this is good. I think overall, it's a great news. Uh, first airdrop list, uh, uh, which was most important one, which is listed and which is now available. You can sell it and you can cash out, but I don't recommend it because Everypedia is a great project. I'm sure they will do better in longer run. Other news on EOS, I think uh, there has been some issues with block activity. Uh, they are showing, some people are pointing out that uh, EOS activity has gone down significantly. Let me reassure you, there is nothing wrong with the blockchain. This is just an error, which is uh, maybe on the block activity side. So if you go to the EOS network, you can clearly see that uh, the blocks are churning out very fast. There is no concern. The blockchain is healthy. And uh, one interesting thing which is happening is a lot of actually the number of transactions have gone up 
uh, there is somebody uh, we don't know this account name which you are seeing rolling by very fast what what gu to tem this has been going on for a very long time now many hours we are seeing this either these guys are stress testing or just trying to spam the network irrespective of that uh, what is happening basically is uh, that uh, there are a lot of transactions flowing uh, as you all know that eos network cannot have a ddos attack uh, you need to stake your tokens to really use that transaction that cpu and uh, network and uh, this is actually going very fast uh, in, in fact the number of trans the number of uh, transactions are growing and these are the couple of stress tests you are you are seeing right now running which is one is the block twitter and one is this uh, vote uh, for certain account which we don't know what it uh, means but it is going on for a very very long time since uh, today morning uh, but overall i think my point is that uh, uh, right now we are seeing very good throughput on the network uh, and uh, it's not even reaching the capacity which is uh, currently established by EOS network. So we need more and more people to launch the apps and show that uh, what we are EOS network is capable of. Now coming back to the call, there are a couple of things which uh, happened uh, beyond what uh, the RAM discussion and so on. Uh, so one thing if we go later into the call so you can all go to eos detroit page we can post the link for this call um, and uh, this was the live recording of that call so one thing which everybody discussed was this one block producers zb um, which i have been highlighting for a very long time already if you watch my earlier videos so they talked about the gb this is an exchange in china um, and it seems that they have never joined these calls. They are one of the block producers. They're actually one of the 20, top 21. So um, oh, I'm not, this is a proxy, sorry. Uh, let me go and see. Uh, again, let's go back to the EOS network and uh, see that uh, they have always been, ZB is always in top 21. And as I showed you in previous videos, they are voted by whales and uh, they don't vote for anybody else. So in this call, it was discussed whether uh, like they didn't really like it. Rest of the block producers were in favor of uh, booting them out and they were discussing how to do that. And then Larimer came back and said that uh, you should not do it unless they're not producing blocks. Uh, but overall, I think as of constitution, I agree with Dan Larimer that we should not boot out uh, uh, from the block producer side uh, technically. But as a voter, I would go and uh, still continue to question a block producer which is not participating in any block producer calls they're not even reachable by other block producers they don't have their json files updated uh, so we do need to really form this alliance and uh, continue to build our proxy and uh, all the sort of small investors we continue to recommend uh, please find a way to vote so first of all thanks a lot for people who have given us your like you know proxy we now are very strong like 415,000 uh, votes that means the weight of the vote that is the number of EOS which is associated with our account and uh, let me remind you I'm still getting questions what happens to their tokens when somebody assigns proxy let me remind you again we don't gain anything we are not in control of your tokens the only thing which happens is our vote is copied and you copy our vote so whoever we are voting for your tokens are voting for the same block producers that's all is happening we have nothing to gain here we are just trying to create a kind of a community voice and trying to at least not vote for uh, these block producer in long run if we become big enough we can actually impact and maybe make these block producers answerable we don't want uh, these uh, big whales uh, to keep uh, driving uh, what is uh, the current state of uh, EOS uh, block producer and so on. But irrespective of that, I think we are glad that the network is running fine. Um, while we know that some of the block producers are not uh, deserving, but they are not being like, they're not acting negatively. They're not uh, impacting the network in a wrong way. So that is a good sign, I would say. And uh, that is what we need. Like we need a healthy blockchain. Uh, so that the dApp developers can come in and uh, continue using uh, this chain. So that's all I think we have. We will keep covering more about uh, what's going on in EOS world and uh, we look forward to your feedback. 
Um, and thanks again for all the subscriptions and liking on our videos. And we, what we need is a good community where we can talk and learn together about what's the best uh, way to take this uh, revolution which is happening on EOS. And as you will see more and more people come in and uh, dApps are launched, uh, you will see the real impact of uh, no transaction cost uh, blockchains and especially the instantaneous blockchain. Like if you look at the number of transactions which are happening, even with the spam happening in parallel, you can even now send a transaction. You can send EOS from one account to another within uh, one second, which is uh, I'm seeing it live. I am talk to a lot of people who are seeing it live and this is a great experience. So that wow factor, which is... Uh, they are right now in EOS. People will realize because all the people in crypto world are used to uh, like hours of wait or at least 10 minute or 15 minute wait for confirmation. And what is happening in EOS is uh, really uh, going to change the way blockchain is used. So thanks again for joining uh, um, and uh, we hope to continue this coverage uh, as we go along and uh, we are welcoming all the comments. Please let us know what else uh, you would like to see and uh, bye for now. And